The comment feature allows you to add comments on any slide as a way for you or others to make notes or remarks about objects used in your presentation or thoughts or ideas to help you build it. Now these comments won't be displayed during the presentation but are only available in the design view. So you can see I got a total of three comments here and before I go over these comments, down below on the status bar you've got, well I've got it, it says comments, that when you open up a presentation after new comments have been added, you'll get a pop-up above this here that says, hey, you've got comments. It's like a flag to let you know to check for those new comments. And if you don't see the comments on the status bar, then right-click anywhere on it. And, of course, let me uncheck it. Now I checked it, and it's now there. In any case, if you want to see what these comments are, first go ahead. You can hover over the tag, and it says click to show the comments pane. So when you click, you've got a total of one, two, three tags, callouts. And you've got a corresponding comment for each callout. So when I select this one right here, it's highlighted over in the comments pane and it's tagged to our company name Gops and it says Mr. Humphreys here on July 23rd 2012 oh my gosh that's a long time ago I gotta get to work so we ought to make the text here larger don't you think oh yeah we gotta promote our name so I can just go ahead and agree with that move on to the next comment which you know you can go ahead and hover over another one when you do you can see over in the comments pane there's two that are highlighted one that has the selection and one that I'm hovering, but when I click, it jumps to that tag there and it highlights it, so keep that in mind. Is this really the logo we're going to use? I thought we're going to use a text logo instead. Okay, I'm going to ignore that and just go ahead and go to the next comment, which, by the way, you can come over here in the task pane and click on Next. And, well, now it's going down, so it's going from top to bottom. Click Next, and we finally get to the bottom or the last one on the slide. It says, is this our fist? Oh, fist. Okay, it should have said first. I can help. Go ahead and click in his comment and type in the letter R. Is this our first annual meeting? If so, when did it start? Maybe we ought to put first annual meeting. Okay, I agree. Let's come up here and click in here. Make the suggested change. And then if I want, I can go ahead and reply to his comment. Come down below in the reply section. Say yes. Agree. And then when I'm done, once I click out, okay, you got one comment there, right? Once I click out, because there's a reply, there's a second call out behind the first one to let you know that something's going on there more than just one comment, but a reply to it. And so I can keep replying to the original comment as much as I'd like, or I can go ahead and delete my original here, or I can come up here and delete his, and it's gone. Or I can come over here and right-click on it and delete the comment, even create a new comment, and even copy the text. So if I left-click to copy it, and I right click to make a new comment. Okay, that new comment is right next to the old one, so click and drag that over here. And I'm going to put it right next to our first annual meeting and then come over here, click inside of it, right click and paste the text that I copied from that comment over here. Although it makes no sense, we ought to make the text here larger, don't you think? Or maybe it does, because maybe we ought to make this text larger so it not only works for the name of our company, but maybe our first annual meeting, we need it larger. In any case, that's a comment for me just a few seconds ago. Oh, I better keep going here, or I can go ahead and delete that, of course. And I can come up here as well and click on New Comment, and there it is down below, but where is it over here? When you do it that way, it's always in the upper left-hand corner, so you can click and drag that around, and that little pointy part is where you want to put just right next to whatever it's referring to here. At least that's what I recommend. You can put it right here if that makes more sense to you, right next to the first annual meeting. And say, in my reply, say, get rid of first. And then send it off to somebody else for review to see if they like it. And say, well, is that okay? And then send it off to Mr. Humphreys in any case. We got new comments. We can go previous. We can go to the next one. You can also come up here and click on the review tab in the comments group. And you can create a new comment here in the upper left-hand corner. And we can go ahead and type in anything that we want that, to help with the design and the construction of our presentation. Then click off. And then, of course, you can click on it, hit the delete key, and it's gone. And you can also delete it up here as well. In fact, you can go to the next comment. So it's going down in descending order again. You can either click on the delete comment. And you can see in the pop-up, it's going to delete the selected comment, or you can click on the drop-down arrow and get a whole lot of more options. 
delete the selected comment, delete all comments and ink on the slide. If you watch my training video on annotations and you can see the ink over here, you can ink it up. You can do that or delete all comments and ink in this presentation. I better not do that because we got a few more things I want to show you. So let's go ahead and click off. And if we don't want to see our comments, you can see you got the drop down arrow. We got the comments pane, click on it, it disappears, but we still see our markups for the comments, right? You can come down below on the status bar and click on comments and it brings up the comment pane, click on it to disappear, or again, just come up here, click on it. You can see it's not checked because it's hidden and bring up the pane. Oh, what a pain. Let's go ahead and close out of it. You can also click on the drop down arrow and don't show the markups. If the markups are in the way of your designing here, and then once you're done designing, moving things around and you want to be able to see those comments again, well, you can click on the button up here and it shows not only the markups here, but also the comments pane. So either or, you can see one or the other or both. And let's go ahead and click next, next, next. Okay, now we went from slide one to slide two. Do we danishes and muffins? A what? Oh, Mr. Humphreys, your sentence structuring is horrifying. Do we have danishes and muffins? Okay, let's help him out. In any case, you can go ahead and go through all that. Make some more replies. And you can see that the comment here, which if it's not in the right place because it looks like it's coming up from the presidents, at least when I read the Sunday papers when I was a kid, they had those little call-out bubbles being called out from the character that was speaking it. It was from the tip of his mouth here, and the tip of the president's isn't about the breakfast, so I can click and drag that and put it right up above there, so it's calling out from the breakfast. Hey, do we have danishes and muffins or something more like eggs, bacon, pancakes? Mmm, delicious breakfast. And then also you can, well, if it's text here, you can go ahead and select it. And then come up here and click on New Comment, and it just tags it right next to it. So, well, you couldn't really put it up here, right? I guess you could, but that would be in the way, but then you can always go ahead and go ahead and click on that drop down arrow and deselect markups and it gets rid of the task pane and then do your thing in any case, whatever works best for you. Okay, and then finally to print off your comments, let's come up here, click on the file tab, go down to print. And then by default it wants to print full page slides, one per page. When you click on the drop down arrow, there we go, print comments and ink markup. What that will do is that if there's any comments on a slide, after the slide on the second page, it'll have all the comments listed. Well, let me show you. Let's go ahead and click on print comments and ink markup. And oh, there we go. So slide one, we had comments and it's got them tagged here. There's WH. Well, you probably can't see it. Let me go ahead and zoom in. There you go. And that's at 100%, so that's what it's going to look like when it comes out of my printer. WH, William Humphreys, first comment, second comment, and Where's his third? Oh, that's by me. So that's right. I made the change here, deleted his, Kurt Kershaw 3. Now remember, where are these initials and names coming from? How does that get pulled in? If you watch my earlier training video on customizing your environment for PowerPoint and updating your personal information, which is backstage here. Okay, fine. Go to options here. And there you go. General tab down to personalize your copy. There's the username and there's the initials. So the initials will come up. Let me click cancel. Well, we better go back to print. Control P, the shortcut keys on the keyboard. We'll have the initials for Mr. Humphrey and the number of where it's at in the series of comments. So we're on slide three. So let's go ahead and click to zoom that in. So slide one had three. This one is continuation of four. And then Kurt oh, Kershaw five. And then Mr. Humphreys, number five. So in any case, let's go ahead and go to the next one. And then the next page, let's go ahead and zoom out. So you can see it's got each of those tags with the comments next to them. So when you print this off, there we go. You'll see on the previous slide, that print off, when you're looking at WH4, that's the position and the comment that was made. Do we have danishes? So that would be, you know, on slide three here. He's talking about food. So there we go. It's right there. Maybe we want to pull it down just a little bit closer to breakfast because it is about food and not about the title here. So tags, then after. Let's click on to fit. The comments referring to those tags. Do I have any on the next? Well, we got one at the end of boo here. So we'll have the final page with that one comment here. What is that comment? Let me click and drag to zoom it in. Boo. 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.